What up, bitches? It's the misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant. Um, Yasin Bey, uh, better, uh, fuck that Yasin Bey shit. Most deaf, um, uh, most deaf announced his retirement from hip hop last week, and um, he says that he will release his final album hold on let me turn this phone off because everyone loves hitting me up when I'm recording videos he says that he's releasing his final album which is a uh, collaboration album with some dude uh, Ferrari Shepard I assume he's a producer um, I never heard of him before but um, he's gonna do his uh, last concert via live stream and um, He's retiring from um, hip-hop and Hollywood, and I think he wants to venture into fashion and shit. Uh, my thoughts on this shit, look, we've heard MCs talk about how they're retiring and uh, they end up coming back. Once you got the bug, I believe, you, you just got to ride it out until you can't, the wheels fall off. I mean, most Def, I think he's still fresh as hell. Uh, his last album, I believe, was the Ecstatic. Fucking phenomenal album. Great album. He still got it in him. Uh, I'm, I, you know, he he's a great actor. Very underrated for, you know, because, um, you know, rappers have a um, stigma when they, when they transition into film and stuff because a lot of them don't really transition well. But Mos Def is one of those dudes that transitioned into acting, and he is a very underrated fucking actor. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's sad to hear this shit. As a matter of fact, let me see. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything because I was just looking at the article again. Um, yeah, and and he's still stuck in South Africa. For those that don't know, that's the other thing. Um, He's still he's still chilling in 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 South Africa. He had uh, uh, immigration issues. Um, he couldn't get back to America for whatever the reason. But yeah, what do y'all think? I mean, this dude really some of my favorite fucking hip hop music. Black on both sides, classic. I mean, hands down. There's not one bad track on there. Um, what the fuck was his second one? Um, the one with Ghetto Rock on it. I had to go back to that one because at first I wasn't too crazy about it. But, um, yo, um, I went back to that years ago and I realized, God damn, this is a fucking good goddamn album. I forget the name of that fucking album. It, it, it's, hold on, let me look at my collection real quick. The New Danger, The New Danger, that's the name of that fucking album. Damn, I, I might bring that on the road with me tomorrow because that, that's a good fucking album. Um, True Magic, dope. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to his new release. What do you think of this retirement? Shout out to Most Def. Um, I know he changed his name to Yasin Bey. I never really got down with that. Uh, no offense to him. He's still Most Def to me. And... Um, that's all I gotta say. And check out his unreleased shit too. Um, he's got a, a compilation, two compilations uh, that I have. Very hard to come by. That one is a four CD one. It was released, uh, released, excuse me, released, uh, released on Satan Records. Uh, it's called We uh, We Are Hip Hop. You, Me, and Everybody. The first one was a four CD um, set with unreleased material, remixes, and all that bullshit. And the second one, it, it was the same title, but part two, it was a, it was a two CD set. So yeah, check out his, his uh, collection. Let me know what the fuck you think. 
And that's it. Everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love, leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe, and that's it. Peace, bitches.